first summer I felt really uh, really empowered to kind of to kind of take the lead on some of this stuff you know in the past it's been like you know I've kind of been dealt a theme and, and we kind of run with that but it was the first time where I felt empowered to kind of tell this story of the stuff I've been working on it was really informed by what I've been doing like the last couple of years and I think like you said I think the common thread was that we grew up you know and like you know Martin a bunch of my like musical you know best buddies we like we all grew up in the hip-hop era and we really went back and discovered all this music you know right. at the time what we called like the dusty right. breaks and and samples and stuff you know all this old soul and funk music and whatnot um and i think that's actually kind of the common thread with all this stuff is yeah. that like it's you know it's 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 all different genres you know from psychedelic rock to uh you know a little bit of latin influence and afro tinged rock stuff but with the kind of like tough dusty drum breaks you know yeah. i think it was kind of the, the the common theme i think and a little bit of I, I would say that with a little bit of psychedelia you know yeah so yeah kind of peppered on it i remember the first time i heard grupo and what you guys sounded like, and then by the time you left them, what you guys sounded like, not stylistically, but sonically. Yeah, yeah. And I think just trying to find that sound where it's like, man, I want my new stuff to sound like the 70s record and the yeah, grit yeah. that it's got. And so you've gone through a lot of different, you know, machinations, but now you've got your sound and you've yeah, yeah. not only stylistically, but sonically as well. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, I, I definitely get, I get really obsessed with one thing. So like, you know, if you would have caught me a year and a half ago, I wasn't really into like kind of the stacking, you know, hip hop breaks drum. I got really into like live drums and the way like the 60s and early 70s drums were, where you almost can't even hear the bass drum. I got really obsessed with that, and then I got kind of to the point where I was like, man, I want to hear that like boom bap again. Yeah. You know, and it was right when like you called, you know, I'd already kind of been exploring that a little bit more, and I was like, man, that's that's like you just can't get away from some of that boom bap, whether it happens from a live drummer or from, you know, kind of playing with samples and stuff. And I think you know what my really. Uh, when I really kind of started, it's, you know, growing as a producer, I think it was when I fought, bought my first samplers and stuff like that when I was probably like 19 and right. NPC 2000 and then eventually like the Boss little sampler thing, the SP202. And uh, so I really did that for such a long time. And then again, I ended up putting that away and was like, man, I can, you know, I can do this live. And again, it was like fun to kind of whip out the beat machines again and get back to where I really like started to grow as a producer. 